It's not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff, so you get the videos that I put them out. So you know, I'm thinking, see, I'm analyzing that data. Like I tell you every day, the data they release us is false. It many gives a false narrative of the market, so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, AMC. Adam Aaron sold another 3.25 million AMC shares sometime between December 28 and December 29th. Um, CSI was telling me about it and he didn't get a chance to do a video. And I was reading up on the sale and I'm going to tell you guys something. We all knew that this was going to happen. We all know that Adam Aaron was going to continue to sell those shares in order to help out his hedgy buddies. But like I said in the previous video, he might as well just sell all the shares he has, pay off the debt and issue a dividend. And that would end the nonsense. OK, because when he just keeps sneak, well, I think he's sneaking when he's just sneaking and selling off shares. And then we're find, finding out about it after the fact. That is absolutely crazy to me. I don't think that really affects the price of AMC, even though it, it does dilute the stock. But the thing is that they've created, in my opinion, I'm not trying to buy, hold or sell AMC, but they've created so many billions of counterfeit AMC shares that a 3.25 million that Adam Aaron sold to, to pay off some debt really, in my opinion, does not affect the price. What really affects the price of AMC, in my opinion, is all the fraud and corruption, all the naked shorting, the, 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 the billions of shares, the millions rather of shares that's available to short every day that we know don't really exist. OK, they have 50, 40, 50 million shares available to short every day. Where are they getting these shares from? They, they, they're getting them out of thin air. And all the SEC or the DOJ or the FBI has to do is ask for the blue sheets, ask for the chain of custody of these shares. And it, it exposes all the fraud and corruption. Am I happy that Adam Aaron is peace -mealing? Selling these shares a little bit at a time, giving the bad actors time to regroup. No, no. Sell all the shares at one time, pay off all the debt, and then issue a dividend, and, and just shut them down. Give give them a little bit of time, live the, a little bit of time, a little bit of time. Gives them the opportunity to regroup and to plan, and maybe that's his goal. Like I, like I've told y'all before, I believe he has two agendas he wants to save AMC. amc he doesn't want amc to go bankrupt but his handlers i think have so much control over him that he can't do too much to hurt them and that's why he makes these types of decisions okay he wants to save the bad actors save the people naked shooting amc and he wants to save amc too and of course he makes sure he makes money but what he does is make sure retail investors don't make money. And that's the bad part about it. He allegedly sold, so paid off about $22.5 million in high interest debt that was due in 2026. And paying off debt, I believe, is a good thing. But I don't like the way he's doing it. And I think that everything he does is to benefit his his buddies, who are naked shooting AMC like Citigroup. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that Adam Aaron should be piecemealing, selling AMC shares under our noses when he thinks we're not paying attention? And did any of you guys know that he sold 3.25 million AM AMC shares between December 28th and December 29th? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.